This is the Christensen Arms Ridgeline Rifle. You can take one look at this and tell it's a hunting rifle. Chambered in short action cartridges, it weighs six pounds, three ounces, and chambered in long action cartridges, it weighs six pounds, eight ounces. It's available in everything from 22 to 50, all the way up to 300 Remington Ultra Mag. So it's a great choice if you're hunting everything from predators and varmints all the way on up to, you know, really big critters that are really far away. Uh, this particular rifle is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, and you know, each rifle ships with uh, Christensen Arms' own carbon fiber barrel. It's threaded with, with a thread protector on the muzzle. This one's threaded at 5H24. Uh, you can shoot it just standard with a thread protector on, or if you want you know, some additional recoil dampening, each one comes with a radial muzzle brake. Makes the rifle a little bit louder, but does a really good job of, of dampening that recoil, and on a light rifle, that's definitely a consideration. The big story with this rifle is the stock. So this stock is made of carbon fiber composite, and it weighs two pounds, two ounces, which is really light. Normally to get a stock that light, you'd have to go with injected molded polymer and some kind of garbage can butt pad on the back that really isn't that effective. Uh, this one, like I said, it's carbon fiber composite, but it's got a really soft, really squishy butt pad, so most of the stock's weight sits back here. Um, however, the butt pad's really effective, and once again, on a light rifle, especially if you want one chambered in 300 Remington Ultra Mag, you gotta kinda pay attention to that, to that butt pad. A big part of any rifle's accuracy is how the barreled action fits into the stock. If there's any movement or anything that's inconsistent about that fit, accuracy is going to suffer, so Christensen Arms takes that fit seriously. On this rifle, they bed the recoil lug from the receiver to the stock. So if you pull this barreled action out of here and look down in the stock, you would see a slot where there's been some recoil, uh, there's been some bedding compound, and then you, you know, initially when they do it, they put the barrel action back together, let it dry, and what that does is it makes a little custom fit pocket in this stock so that when that recoil lug slips down in there, it, there's no movement at all. Makes for a very, very consistent connection between barrel action and stock. In addition to that, Christensen Arms puts a couple of aluminum pillars in here. Uh, the aluminum pillars are sit forward and rear the, and the action screws pass through them. So what that does is when you torque those action screws down, it makes for a very stable, consistent uh, union between barrel action and stock. I mean, that aluminum doesn't warp, it doesn't bend. So when that steel comes down and sits on top of the, the aluminum, that's it. So if, if you pull these apart and look down in there, you would see the forward pillar, you know, it's a little aluminum ring. That rear pillar is a little harder to see because there's some paint over the top of it, but it's there. So between that, that custom fit, really snug little recoil lug pocket and those two pillars, the fit between barrel action and stock is super stable, super consistent, and it's one of the main reasons why this rifle is so accurate. Another reason why this rifle is so accurate is the trigger. It comes with a Trigger Tech field trigger. It adjusts from two and a half to five pounds. Trigger Tech's got a great reputation. Their, their triggers have no creep, and they do really well in field conditions. They've been really popular in the Precision Rifle Series for a long time because they can take those, those field conditions well. You know, wind and rain and everything else, normally the first thing that goes down on a rifle is the trigger. Trigger Techs have a reputation of not, not having any issues. So, you know, accuracy testing on this rifle, took it out, we checked it out. Uh, best group was uh, with SIG, 140 grain, match ammunition. Uh, three shots at 100 yards, we were in the point threes. Um, you know, you'd be like, well, Tom, you know, you're cherry picking. Uh, no, we also tested uh, Hornady, 140 grain, and Norma, 130 grain. And uh, best group uh, across all three loads, every one of them was sub half MOA. If you averaged all the three shot groups that we fired, it would be in the low to mid 0.5 MOA for three shots at 100 yards, which is exceptional. Uh, if you want to go to five shot groups, the testing we did there, you'd be right around the high 0.6, maybe low 0.7 uh, for five shots at 100 yards. So an exceptionally accurate rifle. Uh, I'd like to thank Christensen Arms for sponsoring this video. And if you'd like to know more about the Ridgeline rifle, you can go to www.christensenarms.com.